So we've got two functions here, f and g, and the rule for f is that f of x equals 3 times x, so it's like a trebling machine. If I put something into, if I put something into f, it'll come out as 3 times what it was um, as the input, and g is a function whose rule is g of x equals x plus 5, so if I put something into g, uh, then it comes out just added on 5. And by a composition of functions, what we mean is that we're going to combine these functions together. So actually, I'm going to put some inputs into into this first machine, and I'm going to take the output of this machine uh, and put it into uh, the second machine, and then see what I get out overall. So for example, I might uh, start with uh, 1 as my uh, input, and then you know, apply f to it, and then, you know, so I've got apply the function to 1, so that's just trebling, so that will give me a 3, and then I'm going to take 3, put it in here, and so g of 3, well that's 3 plus 5, uh, which is 8, so the overall result of applying these two functions together uh, is 8. And we could replace this combination of two functions with just one a single function, maybe I'll call it, you know, uh, call it h, and uh, what h uh, does is multiplies by 3 and then adds 5. So actually the rule for h is uh, that h of x equals uh, 3x plus 5. Because it's multiplying by 3 and then it's adding on 5. We can see uh, that combination there. So we uh, apply f and then g. One, one slightly curious thing about how we write this down, well it does make sense, is that we would say that h of x equals g of uh, f of x. So we apply f first and then g, and that gives us g of f of x. Because if you think about how brackets work, uh, you know, for example this function, this one here, h of 1, well what we're doing is applying uh, doing f of x first, so we can replace f of x with, well f of 1 here is 3, so that's g of 3, uh, and g of 3 uh, is 8. So, as with brackets, where well, we have to work from the inside out, evaluating here f of x first, and then g of x uh, gives us this composition. So, it can seem a bit strange, because you think, well, if I do f first, then g, surely it's f g, but in fact, it's the opposite way around, it's g f. Um, and actually, whilst we're talking about you know, which way around these functions, go, just notice it is really important which way round we put these. Actually, if I did them if I did them the other way uh, and did my uh, adding 5 first and then did my trebling, and did the same thing here, so let's call these um, functions uh, R, well, sorry, uh, let's keep the same name, so that one was G and this one is F, so if I do g of 1, that just adds 5 and gives us 6, and then we multiply it by 3, so we get uh, uh, f of 6 is 3 times 6, which is 18, so that's given us 18 instead of instead of 8. So um, so we've got that uh, here g of f of x equals 8, whereas doing it the other way around, f of g of x equals 18. It's going to seem a little bit confusing at first, uh, but you'll soon get used to the to the notation. So here are a few example questions. I've got three functions here to find f of x equals 3x plus 4, g of x is x squared minus 5, and h of x equals 1 over x. So that's the uh, reciprocal function. Uh, it just takes a, a value x to its reciprocal 1 over x. Uh, so let's look at this then. Uh, f g of 3. Now remember, um, well not remember, but um, this function is f of g of 3, so by the way we've just written these down, this actually means f of g of 3, so we're going to do g first, uh, g of 3 uh, is 3 squared minus 5, so this is f of 3 squared minus 5, which is f of 9 minus 5, that's f of 4, and then putting that into f then we've got 3 times 4 plus 4 which is 16. So this means apply g first and then f uh, to whatever the input is and see what you get. It's like applying these two, two machines one after the other. And g of h, uh, so this next one, g of h of 1, so this means apply h first and then apply g. So g of h of 1 
that's g of, well, h of 1 is just 1 over 1, which is 1. And then uh, g of 1, that's 1 squared minus 5, which is uh, 1 minus 5, which is uh, minus 4. And then h of h of 5, well, nothing different here, it's just uh, I'm applying the same function twice, so actually this is h of uh, h of 5, and h of 5 is 1 over 5, so that's h of 1 fifth, and h of 1 fifth is then 1 over 1 fifth, and the reciprocal of 1 fifth brings us back to uh, 5. That won't always happen with composition of functions, um, with the set when it's the same function applied twice, but here we have actually just got back to the same value we started with, which is a special property of that reciprocal function. Adding another example to the list, then what actually if we said, you know, what's the rule for f composed of g of x, f of g of x here? Well, g of x is x squared minus 5, so this is, well, this is f of g of x, which is f of x squared minus 5, and f of x is 3x plus 4. And now, uh, so what that means is whatever we put into the function uh, x, we get 3 times x plus 4 out of it. So if we're going to put x squared minus 5 into the function, we need to replace uh, the x in the rule of that function with x squared minus 5. So I'm going to get 3 times uh, x squared minus 5 plus 4. So that's 3x squared minus 15 plus 4, which is uh, 3x squared minus 11. That would be an alternative uh, rule that would combine f and g for example, earlier we did fg of 3, we could uh, now just instead of put that into here and say that um, you know, 3 times 3 squared minus 11, that's 27 minus 11, that, also, that gives us uh, 16, the same value, uh, thankfully, as we, as we got before. What if I said what's g of h of 2x? Well, that would be g of uh, h of 2x like that. Uh, h of 2x, if I put 2x into this function, I'm going to get 1 over 2x. And then if I apply g to 1 over 2x, I'm going to have to replace this x with 1 over 2x, because that's what I'm putting in the function now. So I get 1 over 2x, all squared, uh, minus 5. Uh, if you wanted to, you could uh, rewrite that as 1 over 4x squared, uh, minus 5. That's a rule that we could uh, use to work out uh, g of h of 2x uh, if we wanted to do that. So lots of examples are of compositions. Composition just applying one function after the other and just note the ordering of the letters that it's the rightmost one that we evaluate first.